My faith fob practice is something I practice underneath the guise of the American Constitution and the Bill of Rights, which I'm always talking about and always touting, which is freedom of religion. What I'm very concerned about is the people who've been hacking my computers, interrupting and impeding my life, is that they have actually been deleting important documents, important marketing materials that are not the same. They look at those images and they think they're the same. They're not. They're not the same. And there's a detail that's different within them. And what you've been doing is abusing my rights to keep the historic record of my marketing materials for my business, my programs, and my life. And when I go to find something on the faith of, I see that the one that is for my life and my business and my spirituality center, that's not even listed in the various programs that I've had, the Significant Studio, which is another marvelous term of alliteration that I've created, that openly those images are missing and the ones that I pitched are back on my computer. And that pisses me off because those businesses that I did those workshops in are no longer a part of my life and one of them is even closed. But the image that I had was the exact same image but different details in its writing is my right to have. Please stop deleting my work, people, because you deserve really to go to hell, and I know you will. God has already told me that every one of you that has been abusing my life in any way, shape, or form is going to hell. So good luck with that. Good luck with the horned devil that you don't believe in. Good luck with the dark demons that you're going to have to face every day and the afterlife. Good luck with that. But if your life is already in hell, in the living, that's on your life. You keep choosing the wrong life. You keep making the wrong decisions. My life isn't in hell because of decisions I made entirely. My life is in hell because law enforcement and people of an original sibling set decided that they would abate and literally ruin my rights.